Hi friends, it's me Jenny here with yet another DIY t-shirt cutting slash weaving tutorial. Here's the before and here's the after. This t-shirt is one that my friend gave me in hopes that I could spruce it up just a little bit. As usual, I cut off the neck and the edges of the sleeves and the bottom and then I fold it in half to cut slits down the back. Generally, I just gauge what looks good and how big I want the slits to be. You'll see I cut down the sides and then along the edge of the neck for this one. Some shirts have seams down the sides, but this one did not, hence I thought it would be cool to put some decorative slits down the sides. I like to stretch out the slits after I cut them just to make them a little more uniform and a little thinner. Once again, I gauge where I want the slits and I'm just careful not to cut through the wrong layers of fabric. Sometimes I've had problems with cutting too close to the different slits and then the slits will become too flimsy and the shirt might fall apart sooner than later. Usually I'll wash these by hand or if not then I will wash them on a gentle mode and hang them to dry. Here I'm trying something kind of new, which is just putting the shirt around a pillow. I've seen people use mannequins, and I only have a plastic mannequin, which is cool, but um, I found the pillow to be useful and easy for comfort. Most of my videos are basically for showing you ideas for weaving. And uh, once you got the weaving portion done, then it's easier to come up with different ideas for being creative. But I have at least a couple tutorials where the weaving part is uh, closer to the camera. But here, hopefully you can see, basically I just grab the very top string and I pull the bottom one through it and then continue like that to the bottom. And then I'll just cut the two bottom strings in half and tie them at the sides. Feel free to repeat this weaving situation multiple times and it'll create different effects including making the shirt tighter and or looser at certain points on the body. If you're making a shirt for a friend, it can be fun and useful to do the weaving while the person's wearing it. That way you can tailor the tightness to the curves on the body. There's the basic weave and then there's this looping kind of weave. I'm not sure what the official name for this is, but basically as you pull the strings through, you just loop it and then pull the string through that one. And similarly, when you get to the bottom, just gauge how you want it to look. In my case, I'll usually go back to the regular weave for the last few strings, and then I find it easier that way when I cut it in half to, to tie it at the sides. I find it easier that way to tie it at the sides after I cut it. The looping weave can be fun when you don't have the wide slits. As you can see here on the sides, I tried with just the looping weave and I thought it turned out pretty good. At the bottom of this one, I just use a string to secure it. I really like the little dingling strings, kind of. It's decorative and cute in my opinion. And as you can see in some of my other videos, I like to add beads sometimes.
On the sleeves, I just made some slits and then I used extra strings to weave through the slits and then kind of just bunch it up. This one turned out pretty simple and I think it turned out alright. Hopefully you agree that this shirt is cute and I really hope that anyone watching this has a lot of fun experimenting with their own DIY t-shirt projects, t-shirts, yoga pants, or whatever. On my DIY with Jenny channel, you'll find different tutorials that I've made in addition to tutorials by other YouTubers, some of which I think are better than mine. I have a lot of fun finding resources with good ideas and projects I want to try. Also, I have the DIY with Jenny Tumblr and a section on my Jenny Nexus Pinterest for fashion and DIY tutorial ideas. Hope you enjoyed this video and stay in touch if you did. Feel free to leave comments with questions or suggestions, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.